I hope at least I can say uh, we, we do bring a, a good team here. We um, have Matthew Boucher, who just finished a second in the Tour of Utah last week. Um, Chris Horner, we, had, uh, we have uh, George Bennett here, young kid from New Zealand. He looks pretty promising. He's in pretty good shape. We brought Klöden and Vogelsang for the TT, so, but, but I guess I'm afraid I have to see me for the work. Um, well, somebody got to do that, right? We cannot all win. Somebody else has to do the work before that happens. Um, so I think we probably have somebody for each position like of the stages we're going to expect. I mean, we don't expect too many sprint finishes, so that's why we didn't bring a sprinter. Um, some teams brought like a sprinter to two of Utah, which like lasted two days in the race. So <laughs> that was not really like a successful experiment, I suppose. Um, altitude, heat, jet lag, and then, but um, so yeah, we didn't bring a sprinter, but for the rest of it, we should be okay. But I also got to say we, well, I wouldn't say we feel intimidated, but we, with deepest respect, look at the team that BMC puts up here. I mean, just look at this gentleman next to me, former Tour de France winner, some great talents sitting there in the first line. So it's not only that we are here, there's a whole bunch of great teams and great riders here in this race. A lot of people have asked the R word, retirement. Is it even on the horizon? Sorry? Our retirement. Uh, retirement. Uh, that's not in my vocabulary, sorry for That's that. good. <laughs> well... <laughs> the Olympics were, were great, you know, um, two, two fourth place finishes. It's a, kind of a bittersweet place to end up at the Olympic Games, but it could have been a lot worse. And, and I think as a country, we really represented well with, uh, with TJ there, um, doing a, a really, really big work for me. Uh, especially in, in the last 40K of the road race to make sure that it came down to some sort of a sprint. Um, so really, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for this race. You know, this is, this is my home race. Uh, I, miss, I missed it last year. I was just struggling in the Vuelta, and it was like 110 degrees every day, and I'd go to bed at night and just be crying, watching my iPad as I was watching all of these guys go off the... Uh, you know, up Independence Pass with the huge crowds. And um, so I'm beyond excited to be back and, and excited to, to, to especially pay uh, my friend and, and teammate TJ Van Garder and back for the work that he did at the Olympics. And, you know, we have a, a, an outstanding team. We have uh, Johan Chop, who just won Tour of Utah. We've got a guy named Cadell Evans, who's sitting behind me, who won the Tour de France. Uh, this is George Hincapie's last race. Um, and then we've got TJ, who's kind of, uh, I think, just going to take the world by storm pretty soon. So, um, no, nah, this is, you know, this is, a, this is a great, great opportunity for us and a great opportunity for me. And I'm uh, so, so happy to be here. Oh, last year was fantastic. Uh, you could just, you could really feel, and it was clear that Colorado had been bursting at the seams and itching for a race of this caliber for what is, was it, uh, 20, 23 years since the course classic, and, and they just came out with all that enthusiasm, and it was, it was amazing to be a part of. Um, last year's race was, was epic. You know, like the video said, the jersey changed shoulders every day, and, and I kind of missed the dumb and dumber quote that TJ said earlier, but now that I get it, I got to say that that scene where they get off the scooter and they're stuck to each other, that's what I was like getting off the bike in Aspen. Um, yeah. <laughs> you mean you had an extra pair to coming down that descent? <laughs> We're in the Rockies. Dude. <laughs> John Denver's full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, where was I? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, it was it was awesome and. Um, been looking forward to it ever since we finished that day, that, that memorable day in Denver last year. Any uh, one moment stand out last year? Crest of Butte, uh, time trial, uh, you had two stage ones last year as well. Oh uh, boy, it was, that's a tough question because there were a lot of great moments, um, but the Vail time trial was extra special. You know, I won by such, such a big margin there and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Point one one. When you take me skiing. <laughs> that's non-transferable, that, that ski pass, all right? 
Um, no, but that was, that was awesome because uh, I read about that time trial when I was 13 years old and saw the photos of, of Hino and Lamont and Hampston. And so that was like, like uh, TJ said, it was very emotional, very emotional day. And it's, it's hard to pick out one, one moment, but um, that was maybe the best moment. Um, thank you. Thanks for having me. And um, yeah, last year I came to the um, yeah, the inaugural US uh, Pro Cycling Challenge, and um, I came um, based on two reasons. One personal reason: I'd raced a lot in, lot in Colorado in my previous career as a mountain biker. Um, Eighteen years since I first visited Durango. Would you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's my, I think it was my fifth time here in that in that period, and um, I just thought it, it's. Uh, such, it's a great place to have a race and the whole concept and, and having a good organisation for a race, it fits so well in the, uh, in the world of cycling and yeah, we have our Tour de France, we have our Olympics, we have our World Championships but a, a race on this side of the planet, it fits in so well and um, I, was ho I was very happy to, to on, on one level as a, a fan of cycling to see it work so successfully last year but also on a personal level just to come here and race and be in a different ambience and be in Colorado and so on, was, uh, it was a real pleasure and um, more than happy to come back again again this year. The biggest difficulty for us coming from Europe is um, yeah, how much time we, we can commit to, to come over here and adapt to altitude and that's where um, fortunately we've got a guy on our team called TJ Van Garderen who lives in Colorado which um, takes a bit of pressure off my shoulders. <laughs> I've, I've been home getting healthy and <laughs> rested and, and being a dad. Um, I'm a first year dad this, this year so that helped, helped shorten my training camp a little bit this year but I've been over here for a week now in America at altitude to try and minimise the uh, difficulties. I don't think you never eliminate them in the, on, this kind of, on, on this kind of course, but um, we try to minimise the, minimize the suffering as much as possible. You know, as we all know, I mean, this is really my hometown. I mean, I live in Boulder, but my heart is here, and Christian was giving me crap earlier in the year. He's like, Tom, you can only have so many hometowns. You know, you're from, you're from Connecticut, you know, you live in Boulder, you keep talking about Durango, and you also like Malibu. So, I mean, th this is it, though. I mean, you know, I've only been here a few hours, uh, tried to stay calm and, and, and chill out. But since, since I got here, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic. You know, starting really my cycling career here at Fort Lewis, came here as a mountain biker, um, you know, got to know Ned Overin and Bob Roll and, and really the whole community. And they took me in and, and basically I grew my cycling career here with the community. I mean, they showed me everything, the ins and outs and, and, uh, you know, just started getting turning into a better climber on Shalona, and every time, you know, I would finally drop Ned and get a little bit better and better, and and uh, still I have trouble dropping Ned, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is it for me, and, and just being here and the race start, and uh, it's just overwhelming. I mean, I went up Front Hill last night after I got here, and I just had to slow down. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm already just in the big ring just flying up this and and uh this is really a dream come true and I, i'm so blessed to be part of this durango community and and i'm really looking forward to moving back here and and uh convincing my family so if you guys see him around just tell him move back to durango please uh really i'm i'm sold they, they we just need to get the two kiddos and and my mother-in-law on board and we're good so i think my kids are in are, are pumped with the train and everything so really just a mother-in-law if you just see her she, she's about, what is she, about f four, eight or so? She's pretty small, French looking, probably in the bread bakery eating the bread. Uh, just tell her to move back. Yeah, I love it here. Thanks, Durango, for having us. We're so pumped. Yeah, July was, uh, it was a fun month. It was, uh, it went better than I could have imagined. And um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that was fun now that it's over. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, and even during that whole month, I still had in the back of my mind that uh, I wanted to still be fit and ready for this race because it's it is a hometown race, and uh, and yeah, I'm definitely excited to be here. And uh, last year's race, can you reminisce a little bit for us and uh, uh, take us through last year? Yeah, last year, I mean, the I think the crowds blew everyone away, the organization blew everyone away, um, and. And yeah, I was I was motivated last year as well, and um, I remember I got in the jersey into Aspen, you know, got a little nippy going down the pass there, huh, <laughs> 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 um, Yeah, and then Levi uh, did an incredible time trial the next day, uh, took the jersey off me, and I was pretty emotional that day. 
uh, it was hard to it was hard to lose it and I'm hoping that this year I can pull it together in that final time trial and uh, maybe take the jersey home. Just having the opportunity to race this kind of caliber race back in the United States, let alone in Colorado where you, we know most of the roads already, um, just means a, a great deal to all of us. I mean, this is something that we, we always dreamed of as, as young professionals and older, even older professionals now. So uh, to actually have this come to fruition is, is an amazing experience. And, Judging by last year, I can't even imagine what this year is going to bring to us. But um, of course, the team is is based out of Boulder, Colorado, and we're going to go right through the heart of it um, on next Saturday. And uh, yeah, of course, there's, you know, it's you always want to do home good on your home soil, and that, that just means a little bit more to us. And the depth of the team, could you just uh, give us a little preview of the current team that you have uh, in the race? So we we have great depth, you know, and then we got we got Tom Tommy going from coast to coast with hometowns, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much deeper than that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, it's true. <laughs> uh, the, 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 we got a, f a few other tricks up our sleeves, but you know, Pete Stetton is looking really good, and he's he actually is from Boulder, Colorado, and uh, <laughs> he's. <laughs> but no, the team's. Team's great. We're looking forward to it. We always look forward to it and hopefully have as much success, if not more, than last year.